Hi everyone, it's Russell here again from The Presenter, hope you're well. Just coming at you with another Prezi training tip, uh, and this time we're going to focus on 3D backgrounds. Now at the moment you probably notice that I'm not working in Prezi right now, I'm actually in Adobe Photoshop, and what I've created here is a very simple background that I'm going to take into Prezi in just a second, and if I just zoom in to take a closer look, you can see all I've got is some white and some slightly brown clouds okay so this is going to become uh, basically a sky 3d background within my Prezi okay now this image is um, going to be saved as a PNG file the dimensions of the image are 3000 pixels wide by 2000 pixels high Okay, and what that means now is if I go across to a Prezi presentation, so here's one uh, that I made earlier. If I just click through this, you'll see that it's quite a nice city scene. It zooms in on different buildings and different characters. And in the background there, you can see there's quite a nice kind of horizon line. Okay. So this would be an ideal Prezi to add a 3D background into. So I'm just going to go into edit mode here a sec. Click on the themes button at the very top. Then choose customize current theme. And just in the center of the screen, click on upload to add my 3D background. Now here's the image that I had in Photoshop a second ago. As I said, it's a PNG file. I'm going to click the open button. There we go, that's now loaded in. If I now press done in the bottom right, you can see just at the top of the screen here, some of those clouds. But what I might wanna do is just position all of the content on my Prezi a little bit better. So I'm just gonna zoom back ever so slightly. And I'm actually gonna select everything that's in my Prezi presentation by holding shift and dragging across. And I'm just gonna make all of the content a little bit bigger and I'm going to move it up so that those clouds, that 3D background, is directly behind all of those buildings. Okay, now if I go back into present mode for just a second, I'll put this uh, back to the very first path step. There we go. So I'm going to click through this again now, and what we should see is the clouds in the background don't move as much as the content that's in the foreground, okay? And this gives you a really nice parallax in your Prezi presentation. And for me, it's given me the impression or giving my audience the impression that this is a 3D space that we're moving through, okay? There's a clearly a, a, a very defined foreground and background that work completely separately from one another. So hopefully that's helped you understand 3D backgrounds a little bit. They are a great use of Prezi. Um, do feel free to ask us any questions on our YouTube channel, um, Prezi Masters, or get in touch with us via thepresenter.com. Hope you found it useful, and we'll see you for the next Prezi training tip very soon.